Welcome back to Reading Java Code, Module 1, where we will talk about Integrated Development Environment, which is also known as an IDE. We will talk about the two most popular in industry right now, which is NetBeans and Eclipse. Right now, I will cover NetBeans. Uh, as you can see, NetBeans is an Oracle Sun-based or developed Net, uh, IDE. And what you will find that uh, NetBeans is easy to use right out the box, really not out the box, but basically once you download and install it, uh, it's considered to be great for beginners. A lot of the plugins are already there. You don't have to uh, configure this IDE to get it running right away. Uh, a lot of features, like I said, come installed and enabled requiring no plugins. But there are additional plugins that you can get for NetBeans. Uh, I'm going to pause here for a moment. I'm going to bring up my NetBeans environment so you can see it live. Uh, you see a screenshot there, but I'm going to show it to you live. Uh, so I will be back in one second. Here we go. The NetBeans IDE development environment. As you can see, it has a nice, nice graphical user interface. Uh, here you have your projects on this side of the screen. And down in the navigator, basically, it will show the different functions, um, variables, forms, classes, Java files that you are currently highlighted or you currently have open. So what I'm going to do just as a, as a quick run through, uh, here we have where you can create a new file. Here you can create a new project. And here you can open an existing project. And like I said, you know, this start page show, shows up when it first comes open. You can click a link here to install some plugins that you may want to add to your development environment. And hit this is where you activate or close or activate or turn off features. Uh, but for the purposes of reading Java code, you really don't need to be concerned with these two items here. Uh, just so you can see what Java code looks like, this is a card game that I've, I've been kind of tinkering with and working on. Um, as you can see, looking at the development environment, you have this is considered the project file, which we'll go into more detail. This is the source packages of basically <clears throat> where your source code is. And this is called your package, which is called card game. It defaults to the same name as the project, but you can give any other name you want to your project, to your package file here. <clears throat> um, here's your library where your different plugins or different, um, uh, what would I want to call these, uh, things needed for your development environment. So for instance, this is the Java JDK stands for Java Development Kit 1.8, and it corresponds typically to the version of Java that you have installed on your machine. Uh, like for instance, if you need to do database management uh, for a program, you would need to install a particular driver for that particular database. So in some cases you'll have a MySQL uh, driver or a SQLite driver or a MongoDB driver here or any other type of library that's not within the, um, the NetBeans development environment. So to look at a source file, which I won't go into detail, I'm just clicking to show, this is what that environment look, looks like. Like I was explaining, you know, package and all that kind of things, and we'll go into more detail about this when I develop uh, the program that we're going to develop as part of learning to read Java. You will also find down here, uh, like I told you, these are the members. This is the card game. This is this file here, and you will see these are the functions that are contained within this particular uh, Java file. Main you'll see the main function right here or the main functional method and you have player counts which I have right here so that is a quick overview of NetBeans and I will be back in one second to show you Eclipse and we're back uh, I have the Eclipse IDE up on the screen now it doesn't look anything like NetBeans, but it has its own interface, which is also graphical user interface. Uh, has similar options where you can create a new project, uh, tutorial, tutorials, samples, overview of the features, 
importing a project, going to um, launch the Eclipse uh, marketplace for the plugins. Uh, you can look at how to create the Hello World program. You can review the IDE configuration settings. But anyway, just to give you a quick look, uh, I'm going to open up what the window looks like for Net for um, Eclipse. And here we go. Eclipse looks somewhat similar to NetBeans, but not quite the same. Has some of the similar features. Uh, we have the, the area where the source code is. Uh, right here you see as well, it shows the Hello World project and the Hello World program with the only function that exists. So that's similar to NetBeans as well. The interface is a little different. You still have your, your project over here, uh, your package explorer. You see you got your source file. Uh, you got your library, uh, which is similar to NetBeans. Again, this is not an endorsement or, or recommendation to use either development environment. Uh, like I mentioned in the overview, we will use exclusively NetBeans for our um, series in reading Java code. But just wanted to give you a look at what another IDE would look like. So that way, in case you came across it in the industry or in your career, you would have some knowledge of it. So with that, we have covered two IDEs. And what you will also find um, is this. So we're going to take a pause here. And I'm going to come back in one second. We'll bring the slides back up. So I will see you in one second. And we're back with the Reading Java Code series PowerPoint presentation. Uh, as I had stated, that Eclipse was the second IDE that we reviewed, which you saw the source code, the environment for Eclipse. Just want to highlight a few things. Eclipse is developed and owned and maintained by IBM. Uh, when compared to NetBeans, it has a huge repository that is not compatible with NetBeans. Sometimes the plugins do not cross platform or cross IDE platform compatibility. A plugin is, is developed for Eclipse and one is developed for NetBeans. In some cases, um, the developer of the plugin may not develop it for both development environments. That is what drives developers from one environment to another, depending on what plugins they need. Um, the point and click drag, point, click and drag GUI development requires the use and installation of a plugin, where that comes standard as part of the installation for NetBeans. In Eclipse, you will code everything, including your graphical user interface, using uh, commands and the like, whereas with NetBeans, you can drag and drop your GUI. If you want to do the same in Eclipse, you have to install the plugin. But that is just a highlight of the two most popular IDEs out there for Java development. Just wanted to expose you to both. And we will now get more into reading Java code.